I was at the working group as well, and the conclusion was no demolition to no developers. No demolition. It's just supposed to be bad cop. And now, under the table, we don't even know where this came from. They want to demolish all these buildings. They have no empathy for the people, the families that are going to be impacted by this. And I just want Community for Four to believe think about this and oppose the rezoning of what's going to be happening in Fulton and in Chelsea. And these are rat packs of pockets right here. This developer, but who cares? He could have named this community fort. This is in Delancey, a fort, not to get demolition. And look, they got the rat pack, look how beautiful. This is a one bedroom. Why can't we live like this? That's my question to the community. Now they said they're 
the survey is not a referendum, and a survey is not a binding vote. So when people are saying that the majority of the people voted for this plan, it's not true. Now, the New York Times said that roughly 30% of the eligible people voted. Well, we don't have the numbers, and we should get the numbers, but to the best of my ability, I back the numbers, the numbers. and 30% of the people who were eligible to vote, 18 or over, and I came to the conclusion that there were 3,167 eligible voters. So the time says 30% of those people voted. That means 950 people voted. And then the time said roughly 60% of the 950 were in favor of demolition, which means 570 people voted for demolition. But 570 is of 3,167, which then tells you only 18% of the people who were eligible to express their view wanted demolition. 18% is not a majority of anything. And we should stop fooling people. And tonight at the community board, we want to make that point. And to all the elected officials, this area. I've read most of their statements, and they over and over again say a majority of people voted for demolition. It's not true. And your elected officials should stop putting out misinformation. That's why I'm here tonight, to inform, educate the community board before, and also to inform the people at Fort and Elliott Chelsea that there was never a vote. Thank you. Anybody else have anything to say? Yeah. 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 So, also, uh, so you guys, I also want to say, because we're talking to a lot of the tenants, that the actual survey, if you actually saw the survey, nowhere on the options can ever say demolition. Nowhere. Also, number two, we don't want to understand that it said that there's 2,500 market rate apartments in Puerto Rico. Never on the scene. The survey was very, very misleading. It almost didn't give the sense to the tenants that they were moving, that there was going to be demolition, that there was going to be relocation. There was no detail. So people got this. We also like what Lauren and Sigma was saying is that the survey is not a finding of anything. A president of Indian and also the methodology that I'm going to say. What would Norman just say? 18% of the tenants are weak. That's not a majority. Also, furthermore, Fulton in 2019 was not Fulton people. Fulton already voted against demolition. It was already the Nitro working group. It's already there. And one development cannot speak for another development. Fulton already said no. Fulton also said no to privatization. You know. But this is the thing, is like the elected officials are not helping us. Mayor Adams is not helping us. He's going to be voted out. And all these elected officials are not helping us. And so this is why we're doing, we're doing many events. And I really like my heart goes out all the people in the tenants so that they really want to save their homes. And a lot of the tenants are scared of retaliation. Also, I want to say the worst chapter that Miguel Acevedo and Charlotte Waters are coming down hard on these tenants. Talk to, talk to what happened on Saturday. Do you want to take it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jackie, talk to us about what happened on Saturday. On Saturday, um, we were doing a quiet protest, and um, uh, Miguel Lacerado and his um, crack crack boys, crack the crack boys, they came and started um, attacking our table. I mean, they were really holding him back. He's calling me a bitch, uh, cursing me out. Uh, you know, that, and what kind of representation is that? When he's doing that because he wants to silence me. You know, I gotta be silenced because there's something really wrong with this picture of these developers taking our development and we wanna oppose the demolition. That's why we're here to oppose. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anybody else wanna say anything? Anybody else wanna say and something? I'm, and I'm
Alexa. I, uh, I witnessed that morning you had an experience yeah. with the Kennedy Association one uh, poster. And he was very hostile. He said, I didn't mean to think so. And I, I don't think he should have done that. He was acting tough, not like a gentleman. Okay, you guys, thank you. Listen, we got to go to the community board and talk. So, it takes so eight, eight last words before we, before we end? Yes, no, this is a big fight. It's a fight. And it's everybody's fight. It's everybody's fight. Because whether you're public housing, whether you're a senior, whether you're red stabilized, whether you're rich mama, whether you're pen south, they're coming for you. And Chelsea is the most generous district. It's everybody's fight. The fight for public housing is everyone's fight. Let's go that community board. All right, save Save Fulton House. Save Fulton House. Save Fulton House. And Elliot Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Save Fulton House. Elliot Chelsea. Esa es nuestra casa. Nadie nos puede poner a quitarnos lo que de nosotros. No demolition. No demolition. No demolition. No demolition. My home. Okay. Thank you. 627.